All right. I'm going to go get my tree dolly. We're going to plant some planillas. And uh, some of them, uh, I don't know. You don't ever want to regret something you planted, but I just don't want to put them in the next size pot. They're in 15s and 10s, and they, they ain't going in the next size pot. That's all you got to know about that. And I've got stuff out here that's taking the cold. I'm not going to live my life being scared to plant trees, you know? You don't, don't. That's like coming into a, a, gam, a poker match with scared money. You can't do that. Do not come play with scared money. You know what I mean? There ain't no fear over here. We're about to plant some trees in impulse fashion. I don't even know what they are. We're just gonna start planting. I gotta drag them over on this dolly. I hope I can find my shovel. That is gonna be the biggest issue is allo allocating a shovel. Hey buddy, what up Shiloh? Let's see what we can impulse plant. First, you know what's starting to get me mad is this tree right here. This tree right here. That's a Rosa de Piscoco. We're gonna plant that. This guy's going in somewhere, but we're gonna pull him over to the side. Don't be scared. Oh, don't be scared. So we're gonna plant this one. Rosa's going on the, on the wagon wheel. And then let's plant a, um, what are you guys calling this one anymore? The uh, Sapukaya. Yo, yo, yo. What up? We're planting trees out here. I want to plant me a Sapukaya out here. One of these devils is getting in the mud. They're going in the mud today. I might plant both of these freaks. Plant them all. That's right. I'm about to plant these two Sapukayas for sure. This is the biggest Sapukaya I have right here and this 15 and we're going to put it in the earth my yard has been really good for them nice we back i know i'm doing a lot of streams today i got streams coming out okay oh i dropped my hat i dropped my hat we'll be back for that rex all he cares about is this stupid ball boom sapukaya on deck so we got the rosa de piscoco on the right and the uh, sapukaya there. Let's see if we can locate a shovel. That would be nice to get a shovel. Where's the shovel at? I had it at one point. There it is, I see it. I see that shovel. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and proceed over to the planting location with the uh, thing here. Let me go ahead and put my hat back on. Sorry guys. I got like stains on my shirt where I've been wiping my mouth as I work. Okay. Oh. This is a ritual. The hat placing. I always got to have my hat. When I lose my hat, everything falls apart. Okay. Here we go. What happened to the mulberry in the truck? It's still in there. It's got fruit on it. It's got one or two fruit on it, I think, right now. It's still in there. Now, this is an area that Chris is growing in. I let him lay out one of those black nursery cloths. And he had all of his uh, trees over here. And so it's nice, just raw soil where I can start popping in. I think I'm going to put one right here. Yeah. I think I'm going to put that big, the big sapukaya right here. Right about there. Even though it's gonna be crowded, I'm gonna do it. Look at this, this is one of the prettiest trees on the property. I think that's a trunk of flora sabra cross, but I don't know. I couldn't prove that. It looks unlike anything else I have. Grows really well. It's a very strong tree. Doesn't seem to ever have burnt leaf tips, it takes the heat. It's a really impressive tree. Hoping it fruits soon. But I just love the way that tree looks. And I've got, look at this big blank spot right here, but it gets really hot, okay? The shadow will shift in the um, summertime where this all is baking hot right through here. But uh, this is all just, look at that good raw, pretty dark. But this, <clears throat> Rex, is, Rex is crazy. Okay, let's dig this hole right here. I'm gonna dig that hole and put one tree right there, man. We'll go put the big, big one there. I might, I might plant more of these too. These Eugenia Patricias, I'm gonna plant them out. 
We're gonna do some impulse planting right now. Yellow Jabo would be nice in the ground. I have one in the ground, but you know what? They hate the cold. They hate the cold and they flower through the winter. That's a hard one for me to plant, but I actually have one in the ground that has a fruit on it, but it's in a, in a location that's real um, protected. Hey Adam, what up Steve's Bees? Appreciate you Steve's Bees. Big shout out to Steve's Bees. You need to learn about your bees and you get your bee related products with Steve. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be a hot spot that it's getting planted in. I don't wanna make a false move here. There's a lot of options here. I guess we'll cook it. Let's put one out here and cook one. Boom, we're gonna cook one right about there. Maybe I'll set this phone down. I'm gonna set it so you... I'm not gonna be able to uh, answer any questions. I'm gonna try to prop this. I'm gonna try to prop this tree up, this uh, phone up so you can see me dig this hole. I've got a trunk of flora here. I might be able to put you in the canopy like that. Let's see. Oh, oh. this is always the funnest part of the video is me trying to balance out a phone. Anyhow, I, I hope you can see. Okay, I won't be able to talk for a minute, but we can take this hole out. This is just as easy as it gets for digging a hole. You go around in a circle like that. And just keep walking it around, you turn into a machine. You're no longer a human. You are a hole digging machine. That's what I'm turning into. The hole digging machine. Keep going around in circles. Circles. You just want to loosen the soil. Loosen. 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 Okay, now when you dig in, take the soil and put it right next to the hole. Don't go throwing it everywhere. Put it right next to the hole. Now this is a real wet part of the yard. When you plant a tree, it's naturally gonna settle a little bit. So I wanna plant this tree kinda high up. I give it what we call a muffin top. Looks like a little muffin top where the root ball stands above the soil level. Okay, uh, let's get you back. Okay. 24 live viewers. Boom, Rex is for the kick. That hole's dug. That's about as easy as you can get for digging a hole. Like that, okay? So now we're gonna take the Plinia Fetrantha variety, Sapucaya. It makes a recessed, boarded seed, I'm told. But when I got the seeds, they were normal size. So what are you gonna tell me on that, right? I think that hole needs to be a little more shallow. I'm looking at the root ball. I could raise this up a little bit. I'm gonna kick a little dirt in there to raise it up. Just a hair. And step it in a little bit. Okay, let me regroup here. I think I'm gonna have to set the phone down for this. I'm gonna have to set you guys down for a second. Let me do a little shovel prop. We stick the shovel in the dirt like that. Then I can just prop the phone. Hey everybody, he's planting trees again. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which way the tree is positioned. I like the north side to be the tallest. So I take my tree, brush out all the leaves and such right there. Hand on the base, lift that thing up. Flip it up. Oh, get that thing out like that thing. That's heavy, boy. It's got a little piece of plastic on the bottom where I try to, to stop it from draining out too fast. It's got a good solid root ball. Huh. Tell you what, guys. I will tell you 
walk. Oh. Something like that. I think more like that. Like that. Yeah, something like that. More like that. There. That's about it right there. You see, I got my muffin top too. I'm gonna have to bring in some mulch around the base of this. Isn't this exciting though? This is what I call excitement. Out in the field, playing trees, getting your feet dirty, hands dirty, all that. Oh, that baby. Uh, 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 that's called the shuffle. The rare fruit shuffle. The rare fruit tree shuffle. Come on, now dip. Dip. Dip, baby, dip. Come on, now slide, 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 slide. I feel a hoop coming on, a hoop coming on. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, hoop. Okay. Now, come back with the end of the shovel. Nice job. I'm envious. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. It ain't this easy to plant a tree in Hawaii, South Florida, some of these other so It must be that flood area. He's right. Whoever said that. This is a little area here in my yard that gets real wet. Whew. Now I got to go get some mulch because the chickens are going to dig this to hell. This is important too is to pack it in. I'm going to show you that muffin top when it's all said and done. Because you know I like a muffin top. Okay. <sighs> and there's your muffins. I got to hit that with soil. I mean, uh, mulch. I'll put a lot of mulch on that. <laughs> It'll come to life. But for right now, it's good. Yeah, looks like it's been there his whole life, wouldn't you say? Where's the next one go? I want to put a big tree right here, brother. Right here, brother. I want to put a big old job in your cover right here, brother. Right there. Little man. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what tree's going to go there, brother. Let's go get another big one. This little tree right here ain't big enough, brother. This tree ain't big enough to fill that sh that spot there. My little Pliniesters. Play that one for me right there. Okay, this is the next area right here. We're gonna put one right here. So let's go find a... <laughs> That's uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, brother. You don't know about Hogan and how he's always saying, brother, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. When I'm out here planting them planters, ain't nothing new, new. <coughs> oh, Excuse me, that's hurting my throat. <coughs> excuse me. You know the one that my favorite. Take all your vitamins and say your prayers, yeah. What's that his song goes? Uh, I forget how his song goes. He's got an awesome song. This is a beautiful tree. I don't know if I want to plant that one right there. I'm looking for something else that just says Adam. Uh-oh, this is it. I think I'm going to plant this Carlos over there. This Carlos has been annoying me. This Carlos has been giving me trouble, bro. He's been looking at me wrong. He's been saying stuff to me. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got a laugh out of that. You want to know my other? Does anyone else want to hear my favorite impersonation to do? It's going to make me be lightheaded by the time I'm done doing it. But if you want to do pro wrestlers, 
I got one more impersonation to do. I better catch my breath before I get started because can anyone guess who I'm about to do? Because he's tough competition for Hulk Hogan. Anyone know who's next? He's quite famous wrestler from my era. Michael Jackson, he's not next. No, it's a wrestler. Stop it. Anyone know who's next? Well, let me tell you something, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Tyson, no. I did Tyson before. Randy, man, Macho Savage here. Planting trees, baby. The world champ. And you want to know what? When you dig in the hole, I'm thinking about the hoaxster in his garden. And how he says he's got the best plants. I don't believe it. Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, snap into a slim gym. Okay, that's all I can do. That hurt my throat. <sighs> Digging these one-handed. <laughs> How about Andre the Giant? I thought you were going to plan the, the, the Garcinia. You plan the, you plan the Plinia. You want to be a big guy like me. I didn't know I was going to be so big. Drink like 10 beer for everyone you drink. He's a goalie. Ozzy. I don't know if I can do Ozzy, the Prince of Darkness. I don't know if I can do Ozzy or not. He's the Prince of Darkness over here. He was over there, plenty of... Every time a couple of jobs, a cab or something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I can do Ozzy. I can do sharing. Ozzy! My impersonations are off, off kilter today. Sharon! This hole doesn't have to be as big as the other. Okay. I've seen the palm roots, but not a lot. Okay. Y'all got me out of wind here. Lego! We're pulling this one together. It's a little like, okay, Dracula, <laughs> yeah, what's he say? I would not put my faith in such trinkets of deceit. You remember he says that? <laughs> the children of the night, <laughs> what sweet music they make. That was a good one, I liked with Bram Stroker's. Yeah, I'm having a stroke right now. I'll be stroking. Okay. It's hard to do this one-handed, let me tell you. Okay. Ludicrous. Your impression is ludicrous. Let me tell you something about being the champ out here. My dog, I taught him to be the best goalie there ever was. He protects all my pigeons. He don't let the ball pass them. Hold the camera still. I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Hold on one second. Here's your headache. <sighs> This one to fall apart. I think the roots are not fully established there. That's a little deep. I gotta raise that up. I gotta raise that up, y'all. Raise that up a lot, y'all. It's gonna settle down too, because I loosened the soil. The soil, y'all. Soil. Oh, that's still low. That's still low, man. That's very low. Planting is kind of low. I don't like so low. Oh. oh, I think I can like that. I think like that, yeah. Okay. Just about like that.
It's like that thing a server has, oh. Sorry. I got down too low and you couldn't see me. Okay. That one looks real good right there. Hold the camera still. I planted the Carlos. It's like a planilla I got from a guy named Carlos. And he didn't know what kind it was. And I just named it after him. You know, I just gave his name to it because it looks a lot like the Grimmel, but it's not the Grimmel. Seems to be a really strong tree. So I went ahead and planted this one out. Kind of hoping that it takes off. And I definitely got to put something at the base of this or the chickens are just gonna beat it up at the bottom. trying to hold the camera steady okay what's next look into that what's next on the agenda y'all I'm looking for a place to put a tree right about now somewhere that's not too hot not too cold I've always thought about planting one right over here yeah, police is pretty common. It's rare, but common, if you know what I mean. I thought about planting some right over here. Underneath this oak tree right here. Seems like a decent spot, if any. What would I plant right here? Yeah, I think I might plant something right about here. This is out there, though. It's going to get cold one day. All I'm banking on is this that tree <clears throat> for protection. I'm looking for another spot to put a tree still. <sighs> Man. Yeah, I might slide one in over here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling crazy. I might slide one in right over here. It gets hot right there, but oh well. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's gonna stay cool. Right about there. Yep, that's where one's going in right there. Yeah, this is an expansion pack. I love these camera holders I have. Palm roots, nothing to worry about though. I'll be right back with a tree. I got one I've been thinking about putting right there. This is a Rosa de Piscoco, RDP. It's an RDP right here. Just ready to go in the ground.
There you go. That's the uh, Rosa de Piscoco. Plenty of Fetranta. They call it long neck pink, something like that. Long neck pink skin. It's supposed to fruit really fast from seed. So maybe it'll fruit in a year or two. You know, once you plant them out and they've been in the pot, it'll delay them from fruiting usually because uh, they put energy into the roots because they've been root bound all that time. Whew. I'm trying to kill on Twitch. What is Twitch? <clears throat> yeah, we're starting to be up in the forest now. Rosa de Piscoco is from uh, Brazil. These are all from Brazil. This is the, let's get a bro GoPro. Yeah, I don't know if the GoPro would make it any better. You don't have to donate. I mean, I could buy one. I've got the money. You don't have to donate. Amazon, Amazon's version of YouTube live streaming, huh? Twitch. We have to figure out that on Twitch one day. I'm just waiting for uh, YouTube to ban me. Then we can take it to Twitch. Oh, you know what I did want to plant? Was, uh, let's start a GoFundMe. Then there'll be all this money there that I won't know what to do with and that I'm scared to touch for a uh, tax purposes. I'm scared, y'all. I'm good. The GoFundMe is uh, eBay auctions, baby. Go to eBay and type in grafted fuang tung. F-W-A-N-G-T-U-N-G. Fuang tung. Carambola. They're going crazy for them, kids. I'm the only guy on planet Earth that has them on eBay in America. <laughs> I like that. The only guy in the world in America. <laughs> they used to be that way. Maybe someone caught on. They see these streams and then these Slovakian guys start to put listings just like me. Somebody did that one time. Okay. Fuang Tung. Grafted Fuang Tung. Carambola. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Grafted Fuang Tung. This is the one that sold. Hope it's not getting dry. No, it ain't dry. I know what's next, Flit. Hey, I thought about the name for your nursery, Stephen, is Planet Flitness. I like that. Or at least like a web page is Planet Flitness. They got a, a, a place here that's a Planet Fitness. This is the mother tree of the Carambola, the Fuang Tung. Apparently it's the older variety that they like stopped propagating for a while. I guess they lost it and planted seeds of it. But it's a good one. It's a good fruit. I like it. It's not going to be the... You know, someone's going to like something better, but I like these for sure. Oh, there's a fruit on it there. Made it through the cold. A little fruit on it. They're usually a lot bigger than that and a lot more wavy. But I guess because it's a winter fruit that it's not so big. And I have a seedling of this, the, the Red's Dumpster or the Island Gold, which is a good fruit. But it's it's basically just a seedling of the Fuang Tung. They're both good. And then this is the Yellow Jabuti Cabo. Oh, look. And this is the one. It did set a fruit. I don't know if you can see that. I got a fruit set on my yellow. Just one, it looks like. I'll probably knock it off trying to show it to you. But that thing's just planted there underneath that tree. 
What's next to be planted? Oh, I know. I know what's next. It's this over here. These things. I might regret it, but we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and plant a couple of these out. These are the um, Eugenia Patricia. Kind of just been annoying me lately. I'm going to go find a good place to plant some of these. I don't know if I want to keep any of these in pots. I'll just plant them out. Let's plant this big one first. Try to find somewhere where it gets sunlight. It needs to have sunlight, but also protection from the cold. Yeah, the Eugenia Patricia. I got to find a good place for that. You know, I'm tempted to, excuse me, squeeze one in over here. Like, let's think about it. Where can I put one of them? It's your grandifolia, plenty of grandifolia. The trees have a really pretty shape. I don't know how long they take to fruit, but these are about four years old, five years old, and they've been flowering, but they haven't set fruit yet. Like that. That one's looking real good. Grandifolia, that's right. And then there's the Sabra hybrid. That looks real good. The leaves are hardening off. I'm thinking about where can I put that Patricia? I feel like there's room over here somewhere. Yeah, foliage looks nice. I almost want to squeeze one in around here somewhere. Right there. I don't see how that would hurt. I'm gonna put it right there. Where's my shovel at, y'all? I'm on it. Need my shovel. A good overstory for my dog. Nah, I didn't gonna get that tall. It's gonna be probably planted in too much shade too, but oh well. I'm gonna plant it in the shade just cause I don't care anymore. Get some good Southern sun. I'm thinking about trying to pop it in over here somewhere. Maybe I'll regret that. It's protected over there. Let's get some sun, it's dappled. Ugh. I don't wanna regret that. You know, you put it in more sun, maybe I won't plant it there. I planted the others over here. It's a test, baby. There's one there, and then another over here. I might continue planting them over here somewhere. They did pretty good through the cold, I'd say. They were planted through 29, and they didn't even get red leaf. I think they'll take down to 25. <sighs> I'm just thinking of where can I plant these things without cooking them out here. Sprinklers are running over the grove. That keeps them wet. I just fertilized them the other day. Oh gosh, guys. Garsh. getting crowded look at this not really flowering up there just down here this is the Eugenia Daisy Blasta. That's like a special pitanga. It's got little red fruit. Imagine the honey off of them flowers. It's a good, it's a good uh, crop, I'd say. So many of that, like the birds don't even. Nothing seems to eat them. It's just too much fruit. Damn, you got me thinking. Where should I plant this tree?
You know what? Let's just do something. What do you say we just plant it somewhere that's kind of hot and just say forget it, you know? We just got to take risks in life, right? But not the biggest one, huh? See, my, Im my impulse planting is dying down. My impulse planting, I'm running, I'm getting, I'm coming with scared money right now. Now I'm running scared. Y'all got me scared now. This would be a nice plot, spot to plant something, but it's getting crowded. You know what, though? I might, I'm thinking about doing that, though. That's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because these are not really big trees. That stays compact. It's just going to be tight in there. But, I mean, that's what we do is we grow everything really close. I think I could squeeze a tree right there. I think I can. Now, should I shift it, though? I think I'll put it right. I think I'll squeeze it in, like, I'm trying to see where does it go. I guess right out there. Damn, y'all got me planting scared. I could squeeze it back under here, too, even further. I think that's what we're going to do. Where's my shovel at, y'all? Have you seen my shovel? Okay. We're putting them in. There's no turning back right now. The trick is, is where? Right there. Right there. Okay, I'm going to set you guys down for a second. This, this ladder broke, y'all. Got a new camera holder This ain't gonna work today. This old ladder. This old ladder. There should be a show called This Old Ladder. All right, we're digging one-handed again. I'm crowding these things. I think that's where I want it. Yep, yep. That's where it's gonna go. Hit a root. This is gonna be a two handed job in a second. Where's my GoPro at? Yeah, it's nice digging with one hand. My Actually, my shoulder's starting to hurt, to be real honest. My shoulder's starting to hurt, finally. But you know what? Party must go on. I'm smart. I like a challenge, you know what I mean? What good is just planting a tree if you can't use one hand and film it? I guess my soil is so easy to dig in that it affords me the opportunity to kind of showboat a little bit. I just need to hold the camera more steady. I guess that's why they make that damn GoPro, huh? <clears throat> Yes, the tree's over this way. Put the GoPro handle on the shovel. I'm sure that would be a stable shot. Okay.
can he see us? Let's see if I can do it, y'all. This is a, this is a whole art form. Balancing the camera. is art form in itself. Put the shovel down as your thing. Put that there. Oh, come on now. Okay. Uh. It's got nice roots on it, I'll tell you that much. There's uh, uh. oh. oh. like that. Oh, sorry about that. Got some kind of prompt on my phone battery. I know the chickens are gonna come tear this thing up. That would be awesome in the bar for Rex camera. Yeah, I'm with it. You see that's about eight feet from that tree, seven feet from that tree, six feet from that tree. But it's what I had to do. I had no choice, y'all. Got dirt all over my phone. No, no, I don't need a tree mat. You gotta just remember what you planted. I remember it. We got this video. I can tell you what everything is. Although I did have to go refresh my memory today, it was hard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, no. I'm not gonna be, I used to, I did used to do jobs like that where I'd go plant trees for people maybe like 10 years ago. I'd be like, sell them a tree and I'm like, all right, I'll plant it for you. And I had this one guy, and he's like, well, come to my house. He's like, yes, I'll pay you $10 an hour to do some work. I was like, okay. I had some other guy, too. I was, like, doing work at his house, and I was like, yo, this is not going to continue. <laughs> These people. I remember him calling me after, like, a while. I used to be working at his house, and he, like, called me to be like, hey, man, I got some work for you again. And I was like, dog. I was like, hell no, dog. I was like, nah, never that. Never again. It's like, you're never going to see me in your freaking garden again, buddy. And that was the end of that. But you know how good it felt to just not ever work in somebody's garden again like that? Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. He had me out there spraying all sorts of stupid chemicals and such. And he's like, yeah, you put the backpack on, you climb the tree, and you spray the blooms. And I was like, well, the, the, the freaking chemical gets on my back because your, your, your sprayer pack sucks. He's like, eh, hey, it's 10 an hour. Cash, what are you going to do? You going to ask mom and dad for a loan or are you going to climb the tree? 
Anyway, I love that. I was spraying some kind of organic um, pesticide, and he's like, yeah, we looked it up. It's good for you. Spray it all over yourself. A little bit of dirt on there, would you say? It's that this this mud doesn't come off, man. It's like on you. It's a mud type. Yeah, it was. It was only like 12, 10 years ago or something, but yeah. <laughs> it wasn't serious money, but I was like, yo, this is good money, man. I'm gonna drive 45 minutes to go work in this guy's yard. I think the minimum wage at the time was like seven twenty-five. That's the Novak Trunkleflora hybrid, strong tree. Rex is doo doo. He's the most powerful fertilizer in the world. It's coming from the backside of this mutt we have found. We have formulated a formula of fertilizer with all the trace essential minerals. The thing is, is he eats chicken shit, which allows him to have a double impact, super triple fast shit from the pit bull hybrid. Look at the uh, trunk of flora. Look at that thing. And the leaves will be burnt by the end of the year, but look, that thing's gonna get banned for looking like a Dr. Seuss tree, doesn't you think? Good contrast with that tree behind it. It's gonna get banned off the internet for looking too Dr. Seuss-like. Trunk of four, I got some grafted. I work with Boca Brides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a walkthrough real quick. Let's just walk it through. This is a, um, this is a quiet muck that it lost all the leaves, but it's coming back. It's a quiet muck seedling. It came from Adolph Grimmel's place. I planted it from seed. It died back, you know, the, lost the leaves, but it's coming back. But I have another one that's a seedling. These must have variable cold tolerance or something because this other one took a hit real hard. It's a little grafted Patanga tuba right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming out all over after, you know, they, they drop their leaves and then they come back. That's a little grafted one out there in full sunlight. It's got flower on it. Yes, it does. It's fruited before it fruited last year. A little grafted fella. I wondered if it would make it through the cold and it did. I got them grafted throughout here. They're just out in the middle of the field. They do all right. They do better planted in clusters, I find. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's that um, new growth on the uh, Parkia biglobosa. It's exploding new growth. Oh, if we get a late freeze, it'll hate that. A lot of new growth coming out of this devil. See if I can bend it down and get a look. That's new growth coming out there. Anyway, that's gonna be interesting. I hope it flowers one day. Lost all of its leaves, it does that though. I could really use a catly guava. I am parched. I am parched. I could use a catly guava chickens. How y'all doing? Where's the happening over here? I got my hands all washed up for dinner. Tell me what's to eat over here, guys. See any catlies? Or did the squirrels eat them all? We're on a catly hunt right now. I've been getting some of these every once in a while. The squirrels have been getting them before me. Here's one here. Did I get it? No, nah, that ain't no good yet. Oh, there's some over here, hidden. There's always the hidden ones they don't see. Can I get lucky? Can I get lucky? That looks about right. Ah, it's got a little hole in it. It's not quite ready. Let's go check the other tree. This is like scratch off. If anybody likes to play the lottery, picking, rare, uh, picking fruit period is like a lottery game where you just don't know, is it gonna taste like the best one you ever had? Is it gonna have a worm in it? Is it gonna make you sick because a snail crawled across it and you didn't wash it? Let's play a lotto. Let's see. One time I swear I got something from a slug where I didn't wash the fruit and it went across a slug. And it got me, yo. Is this one ready? Yep, this one will pass. Muster. This is what you do is you take it, you split it, you squeeze it till it splits. And then just. 
check the inside for anything nasty, and then eat out the goo. Eat that goo out. And then share it with your homies. I see a homie come in. First I eat, I don't know. There go, homie. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Why are you always so scared? She don't trust me. That's how seeds get planted. There's some seeds from the guava there. Look, I'm just going to leave them there. Who knows what's going to happen. A little early, but it was good. I really did enjoy that. I was hungry, I was thirsty, whatever. And uh, I did enjoy that. I wonder how those would be if you pickled them. If you pickled them. Take them green and pickle them. That's what I want to do is a pickled catley guava. Let me know on that if anybody does a pickled catley. See, I'm eating them green because things are eating them before me, so I'm eating them green right as they get a little yellow. Actually, it's delicious, man. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. I just, I needed that. I want another one. Now, yep, this is just about when you can eat them. This one felt soft. They're better when they're totally yellow, but this is what I've been doing. They look like green citrus, don't they? They're catley guavas. Yellow. I'm eating them early. I'm eating them early because I'm desperate. Like a rat. I'm like a thirsty rat. Remember, the Patanga tubas look really crappy this time of year, but I just fertilized them. We're starting to get some rain, hotter weather. They're about to bust out. I might get a really good crop this year. I don't want to have to like shoot squirrels or nothing like that, but dang, I might have to get like a paintball gun and scare the squirrels away. They love to chew off the fruit when they're green and eat the seed out. But look at a bunch of nice new growth on these after they lose all the leaves. Yeah, I get I get sick of eating them though. The best thing I like to do is make a fruit leather. Take them, squeeze all the juice out, and make a fruit leather out of it. That's what I like to do. Fruit leathers. You can add a little applesauce too if you want it to go further. You know, use like 50% applesauce, 50% jabo juice. Or you could do more, le you know, I wouldn't cut it more. It's like gold, you know. You don't wear 10 carat. I would do 60, 40, 50, 50 maybe, but not 40, 60 apple, you know? You want more jabbity kaba than apple if you're gonna call it a jabbity kaba leather, or that's like 10 karat gold. That's a lie. Dehydrator, yes. You squeeze out all the pulp and you squeeze out all the pulp and, you, and, and then make sure it lays really flat and then you uh, dehydrate it. It's so good, it's my favorite thing. There's too much of it to eat. Too much of it to eat otherwise. You know, it gets hard to eat all that fruit. It's burning hot out here. Oh, look over here. Some of these trees I pulled out. That's a sapucaya. See, I don't label my trees and it gets difficult to keep up. You're gonna lose track of what's what. Sapucaya, okay, I know that's a sapucaya. I remember this tree in particular. This one is a Rosa de Piscoco. This is a funky seedling. This is some other seedling. This is some funky seedling. That is a Rosa de Piscoco that looks just like a red. It looks just, looks just like a red, but it's not. It's the Rosa de Piscoco. And then that's a Rosa de Piscoco. This is a Sapucaya. And then this is the one that I think is a Sapucaya. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm almost certain that's a sapukaya. And then I know I got one more over here, sapukaya for sure. This one's always looked funny, I know that tree. You know, how are you gonna tell that's a sapukaya? I think the bark on the sapukaya is not quite as red as the um, RDP. It's got more of a reddish color. You know what, I think this is a RDP right here. That is a Rosa de Piscoco. And then this is a sapukaya. Another big sapucaya. So let me count how many sapucayas I got. Okay, we're gonna have to do that count again one more time. So we got one, two, three. And I just planted one out four. I knew I had more than that. I gotta regroup. This one's definitely the Rosa de Piscoco right here. Rosa. I've thought about planting this tree out, it's getting big. Just don't know where I'd plant it. Beautiful tree. Should flower any day now. So as they do it, it's peeling. It's peeling everywhere. Anyhow, nice new growth on that Rosa de Piscoco. All right, I'm losing steam. Thank you for watching. This was a great one. Oh, Eugenie Kelly Cena doing its thing right there. Tall one. Y'all have a great day. eBay, too. Remember, just type in uh, Grimmel Jabuticaba. Hopefully, mine comes up. You'll probably see the other guy, but check the name. Grafted Fuang Tung. F W A N G T U N G. I need to put the links to eBay in the description. I so I might put it in the comment. If you check the comments on this video, I'll try to put some uh, links to the auctions on there. And then you gotta, if you know how to work eBay, you go to the auction and you you click see sellers other items, and then you'll go to visit my store, see my other items. But we're gonna have some rare stuff on deck. I appreciate everyone watching. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to come back with some good videos. I'm going to try to come up with a decent video. You know, even though it's live and it, you still got a thousand seeds if you need them. No, I'm good, buddy. I'm good. <laughs> sell them, baby. Sell them. Just sell them. Put them on eBay. Put them on eBay for listings. Packs of 20. Packs of 20, baby. 20 for how much? I don't know. But anyhow, have a great weekend, y'all. Yeah, let, 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 I'm going to stay on here so Shiloh can get his orders out, though. Let me give him a second. Holler at Shiloh for his, uh, what is it? Sabra seeds. You're going to need those for rootstocks. Matter of fact, all these you see in here are a bunch of Sabras that I planted that are, like, hybridized with the Grimmel, possibly. And I'm just trying to keep up with them. So I got to go through and sort these out. And it's hard to keep so many alive. When you got 200 trees, you're, it just gets very difficult to do that so yeah i'm having a brain fart on some of these trees where like i gotta go back through my notes yeah oh yeah you'll get a variegated to come out eventually planting enough seeds yeah you know it yeah sapucaya that must be a sapucaya right there and it's that bark. It's that bark is just not as red. You see that color on that? It's just not as red. That's a sapucaya. And then that's your sapucaya. It's got more of like a dull beige. And then this is the Rosa Piscoco. I don't know if you can see. It's just a little redder. It's kind of hard to tell on this camera, but it is more red. Now, I don't know. It's close. And also the dead giveaway should be the new growth color. But this is not, this is, that's the Rosa de Piscoco, I believe. Sapucaya's got that rich pink, deep pink. That's a Sapucaya there. And then, but this one is a Sapucaya and you're not getting that rich pink coloration. The different varieties. See the bark color on that again? It's kind of like a golden beige. And then let's take a look at the other one here that we're comparing it to. I know this is a Rosa right here for sure. 
it's just a little bit redder, I'd say. A little bit more orange to it, maybe. It gets hard to say. That's that little bit more, little bit more orange. That's the Rosa. See that there? All right, y'all. I'm actually out of here now. See ya.